Hello siblings and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Give this video a thumbs up. Today, I'm going to be open and honest about my finances, which is something I really haven't done on this channel. I haven't talked about how much I pay and like rent and stuff. And I know this was a trend like a while ago, but I am just now hopping on it. And I thought it would be fun to kind of share with you guys how much I spend in a week living by myself in a three bedroom apartment in Utah. The reason I decided to do this now is because if I decide to go ahead and move to Texas in June, I know it's going to be much, much, much cheaper because the cost of living in Utah is very high compared to Texas and I thought it'd be really cool if I did this video and then did it again after living in Texas for a little bit and compare my expenses because I already know my rent is gonna be like cut in half so that's gonna be really fun and exciting for me so without further ado let's get started first I'm sitting here and I added up all of my monthly expenses and then I'm gonna divide it by four weeks so that we get our weekly bills expenses and then throughout the week I'm just gonna kind of vlog every time I spend money which hopefully isn't too much. <laughs> okay, so here we go. It already starts to get a little complicated here, but I wrote it all down in old fashioned. I didn't like do it on my phone or anything, just right here. So my rent in Utah, $14.60 a month for a three bedroom apartment, which I no longer even need, so it sucks. But anyways, um, and then my mortgage on my house back at home is $787.72 a month. So I added both of those together to get a grand total of $2,247.72. 72 cents per month just in living expenses but this is where the whole investment thing comes in I receive $1,225 from my renters every single month which puts my rent down it pays off my mortgage for the month and then puts my rent down to $1,022.72 so having that house literally helps pay my rent and pays off my mortgage so that's really awesome next up we have Wi-Fi I'm spending $130 per month on Wi-Fi because I have the fastest Wi-Fi you can get and unlimited Wi-Fi, which is an extra $30 a month, but at the time I needed it. Anyways, moving on, my phone, um, I'm on a joint plan, so I just Venmo the person who owns the plan. It is $47 a month. Um, and then city utilities and gas utilities combined ends up being around $100 a month, sometimes a little over, sometimes a little under, so we're just gonna say $100 a month. Um, I pay for Photoshop and Lightroom, which is $10 a month through Adobe. And then I'm also getting laser hair removal, which is $75 a month. So those are all of my monthly expenses. And then I went ahead, oh wait, I should add those all together. So all of my monthly expenses combined ends up being about $1,384.72 per month. And then all of that divided by four weeks ends up being $346.18 per week in just bills. And knowing me, I probably forgot something. So just right off the bat, that's how much I'm spending every week. We have to add on any sort of expenses that I end up purchasing or whatever throughout the week. Today is Sunday. So far, I have not spent any money and I don't think I'm gonna be going out. So hopefully today will be a $0 spender day. But I'll catch you at the end of the day for an update. So Sunday was a successful day of spending no money and now it is Monday and I'm going to the grocery store. Obviously groceries is like a weekly expense, but I got a lot of groceries and planned out my meals for the week so I won't have to eat out and spend money. Currently at Walmart, I did a pickup order. So they're putting the groceries in my trunk. And my total for groceries was $84.56. Life hack, laundry basket, put all my groceries in for apartment living, you know. I look today. <laughs> okay guys, I'm actually so excited. So Monday I went grocery shopping. That was it. I didn't spend any money Monday. Tuesday, didn't spend any money, didn't eat out. And when I tell you I have a eating out problem, I have a spending money problem, I'm so proud of myself. I just need to track my expenses more often then I'd stop spending money. I don't know what my deal is. I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, I could treat myself today um, like a halfway through the week. It's Wednesday and I haven't spent money other than groceries. Or I could wait until the weekend and then go out. Oh, I do have some Olive Garden gift cards though. That wouldn't be spending money. And I also, my next Wingstop order is free. So I have options to even not spend money. So we are doing so good and I just want everyone to be proud of me. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> so I did end up going to Wingstop, but this TikTok shows that I literally forgot to film everything that day. But my Wingstop was free 
and let me explain that real quick. So basically, I go to Wingstop a lot, probably like once a week if I'm being honest, and then the general manager was like, hey, I always see you here. I talked about this in one of my other videos, but next time you meals on me, just call ahead. So I got there, he was like, oh my gosh, hey Sydney, of course, I'm not gonna charge you for your meal today. And he gave me an extra brownie and a large drink. So that was really nice of him, and that's kind of the only reason I went and ate out this day because I was like, it's gonna be free, so then I just went for it. And then I forgot to mention, and completely forgot this was even happening this week, I have my hair appointment, which means I'm about to spend a lot of money tomorrow. So here's me at my hair appointment. Break it, I was present, hopeless, praying, 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 praying. Struck down at 20, plenty left to put behind you. You ain't peak, devil speaking, not it speaking about you, leave it alone. Hope you're grinning while you watch your bros. On some soul for sunny shit to brighten up a wounded soul. Honest, you the penny, uh, pick it up like Chevy, uh. Okay, just got done with my hair. I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like last time, but this spot was just a little orange and like we just kind of brightened it all up, toned it again, put a little bit more bleach in it. So yeah, now it's kind of exactly how I want it to look, I guess. And I really love it. My hair feels so soft and nice. Anyway, so we're talking about pricing here. So it was a little pricey, one, because I have really thick hair, so it takes like extra product to do my hair. And I also bought a mask and the mask was $64. I know a lot, but I like quality hair products and I've been needing a new like deep condition mask. So I bought one, it's this one, by the way. Um, so the mask was $64. So I'm just gonna tell you guys the total with tip and everything was 228 and 52 cents. That's actually a lot cheaper than my hair normally is when I dye my whole hair, so talk about it later. So that's gonna be like my biggest expense for the week and obviously this isn't something I normally do on like a weekly basis or anything, so a little expensive, but now I'm like wanting to get Chick-fil-A. I do have a free sandwich from my rewards on the app, so maybe I will. So I'm now at Chick-fil-A and I had a free sandwich, so I just bought a large fry and my total was two seventy six. I think I'll enter the number if I got it wrong. It is now Friday and I thought I wasn't gonna eat out again this week, but then my sister really wanted to go out with me and I had some gift cards. So I actually ended up spending like $10 and something cents. I'll put the exact amount up here, but we went to Olive Garden and oh my gosh, was it worth it. So hopefully that's the last of the money I spend this week. I've also been really bad at remembering to vlog but that's just my life. So I thought I was doing so good and not spending money this week and now I'm realizing I'm spending a lot of money this week. But my hair, I feel like that's, you know, it's not a normal thing I do. It is Saturday and y'all, it is the last day of the week. I'm not going anywhere tonight, 100%. I am staying home, so I'll be spending no money today. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add up the week's spending. So just in bills, we have that 346, 18. And then Monday, we have 86, 56. Thursday, we spent 228, 52, plus 2, 76. And then Friday, we spent 10, 54, giving us a grand total of a week of spending in my life of 674 and 56 cents. Of course, it had to be the week that I get my hair done, which I literally do very rarely, like those touch-ups, but I really needed to get that blonde touched up. So that's like not expense I'm gonna have for a really long time. And of course, it was during the week of this video. I'm also proud because I ate out three times, but one of those times it was free and then two of them I had like gift cards or free stuff so I'm pretty proud of myself if I didn't have all that free stuff I probably wouldn't have eaten out this week but proud of myself on that one but all I'm saying is if I didn't get my hair done and buy that expensive mask which of course I only buy a hair mask like once a year or something like that then it would have been $446 a week which I feel like is not too bad also all the other videos I watched people didn't really put in their bills but I just thought that would be good for you guys to get an idea of really how much I am spending living out here in Utah and everything I thought this video was really fun and a good way for me to kind of realize how much I'm spending I definitely need to get better about budgeting and that is actually one of my goals for like the rest of the year is to start budgeting pretty good every month. Maybe once I get the hang of it, I can make a video about budgeting and how I stop spending so much money because I definitely have a bad spending habit, which I didn't realize I had until recently. So 
that's been rough. <laughs> Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and seeing an insight into my finances. And if you want to see a version of this once I live in Texas, at least I hope that's where I'm moving. But if I'm not moving there, it's definitely going to be somewhere cheap. So after I move, I could do another one of these and kind of just compare those expenses and see how much I spend in a week in my new location, which would probably be in the next like mm, two or three months that I could make that video. So if you want to see that, let me know. And also, I thought it'd be fun if I could do some more like financial type videos for people my age. So if you guys have an idea that you want to see, then let me know in the comments down below. That being said, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye!